the Washington State Senate just passed Senate Bill 5599, allowing the state to hide children from their parents. No allegation of abuse is required, just the child's delusional desire to change the gender of their own body. The bill compels state licensed youth shelters to act as accomplices in castrating children without their parents' knowledge and allocates over $7 million to pay for the surgical and pharmaceutical castrations. According to this new law, if a child shows up at a youth shelter in Washington state and expresses the desire to change the gender of their body, claiming that their parents are against it, then the youth shelter is legally obligated to not notify the parents of the child's location but rather to funnel that child into the destructive and horrific world of transgenderism he made paid for the by the state of Washington Children with taxpayer dollars. And it's not limited to Washington residences. Any young, confused, runaway child can now make their way to Washington to get castrated by the government without their parents ever being notified. The agenda to destroy Christian culture and the family was further demonstrated last month when scores of UN judges published the eight March principles for a human rights-based approach to criminal law proscribing conduct associated with sex, reproduction, drug use, HIV, homelessness, and poverty. The document states that these principles should be of immediate relevance to legislators, judges, and prosecutors at all levels these principles include the right to abortion and transgender surgeries. They recommend the legalization of prostitution and all drug use. But the real offense is buried at the end of principle 16, consensual sexual conduct, where it states that sexual conduct involving persons below the domestically prescribed minimum age of consent to sex may be consensual in fact if not in law. In this context, the enforcement of criminal law should reflect the rights and capacity of persons under 18 years of age to make decisions about engaging in consensual sexual conduct and their rights to be heard in matters concerning them. And the reason for this was perhaps best summarized by communist Marxist Vladimir Lenin when he said, give me four years to teach the children and the seed I have sown will never be uprooted. Reporting for InfoWars, this is Greg Reese.